Good morning. My name is Terry Bleakley. I'm the Regional Vice President for Intelsat in Asia Pacific. Uh, Intelsat has a number of offices within Asia Pacific. Uh, Singapore is our regional headquarters, which is where I'm based. And we have offices in Beijing, Hong Kong, in Delhi in India, uh, in Tokyo in Japan, and in Sydney. So all of those offices report through to Singapore. And uh, we support customers from Mongolia to Antarctica, from Pakistan to French Polynesia. We see um, uh, a number of trends in Asia, but I think the biggest we see is the growth of IP traffic. And we've been looking a lot at statistics and, and information to provide support to what we think the future will do, and we've been looking at Cisco uh, data. Uh, and Cisco are now talking about exabytes, and exabytes are billion times billion bytes, or 10 to the 18. Uh, at the moment, the world consumes on a monthly basis just over 30 exabytes per month. Uh, Cisco are predicting by 2015 that will jump to, to around 70. So there's going to be double the growth of, of IP traffic during that period. Um, and if you look at the trend within that, a, a subset of that is, is uh, mobile IP traffic will triple uh, as in comparison to fixed IP traffic. So we're seeing uh, a major, major growth in IP traffic. Now, satellites need to become a lot more relevant for this growth. We've got to look at the sort of capacities that we can deal with. And traditional satellites have, you know, three to six gigabits of throughput, depending on how many transponders and how they're loaded. And uh, we've been looking at this sort of data and we've been speaking with our customers. And we've come up with a new global platform, which is our EPIC platform. And EPIC is our high performance satellites. And these, this is quite a unique offering in the, in the uh, industry because we're using something that the industry doesn't really have, which is um, our spectral rights, our C-band um, rights around the world, our KU band rights around the world and our KA band rights around the world and with our high performance satellites we'll be doing frequency reuse and spots in our C band frequencies and our KU band frequencies and our KA band frequencies to support customer needs of whatever application they're using um, and the, the performance we're going to get out of these high throughput satellites is going to vary between 25 to 60 gigabits so we're going to get on average a tenfold throughput increase and we're going to be able to bring the cost per bit down to customers, uh, provide a lot more capacity and become a lot more relevant. I think on top of that we've been talking to customers about what else you need from us. We see your data requirements increasing dramatically, uh, how can we help you? And They've looked at other high throughput satellites that are using KA band um, as their uh, main mechanism and uh, customers are saying to us we don't want to uh, have to throw away the infrastructure we've already built on the ground. So we're using uh, open systems backward compatible services so if a customer has a new tech modem today uh, and goes on our EPIC platform they're going to be able to use that new tech modem on that EPIC platform um, but they'll just get better throughput or better cost per bit through that equipment than what they're getting now because it's going to be a lot higher performing. Um, so we're very excited about it. There's two satellites we're going to be launching at the close of 2015-2016 which will give us global coverage. IS-29E, E standing for EPIC, will give us coverage over the Americas and over Europe. And IS-33 East, uh, IS-33E will give us coverage over Africa and Asia. And so we're very, very excited about that coming on board. And uh, not only are we, we speaking to the, the, the traditional equipment manufacturers like Newtech, we're also going one step further and speaking with the Ericsons and uh, Cisco's and, and others to make satellite more relevant in the whole mobile, uh, mobile space because they need to understand how satellite works and some of the challenges we have with, with distance related uh, protocol. Um, so we, we think with, with uh, the cooperation we have from Newtech, uh, with the uh, way we're trying to educate some of the more traditional mobile phone operators and satellite, it's going to be a very, very interesting space. We also see um, uh, relevance for what Utech's doing in, in the industry, which sort of parallels with what we're doing with Epic, uh, pushing modulation techniques and standards to get more throughput. And we're really excited about some of the announcements Utech is making with getting, you know, STM1 duals out of 36 megahertz transponders, which is great because it brings down the cost per bit for customer and makes satellites more relevant. And that's where we really need to be. We need to make satellite more relevant, getting that cost per bit down. Uh, more specifically, we work with uh, Newtech not only directly in the region but through our distributors. For example, Pactel 
uh, one of our distributors out of Australia who delivers services into the Pacific Islands, including Papua New Guinea, has just put a new new tech platform, DVBS2, on our IS-18 satellite that we launched last year. Uh, and they've almost filled that capacity up, so it's been very successful, getting very good customer feedback.